Bobby Fairchild, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good to see you back in the States now. Yeah, we're having fun. So this show is amazing, you are amazing. I mean, the dancing that you put, I don't know how you do eight shows a week. How do you do it? I don't think about it. Think I about just it. do it. Well, listen, I love the whole cast. You know, my little buddy Mikey Cosimano's in it, Heather, oh, yeah, Becky, yeah, yeah. Adam, uh, who am I forgetting? Uh, everybody I love is in that show. We we have such a good time, and everybody, everybody's family. It's really special. Well, this is your first Tony nomination, your first Drama Desk nomination. This, I think this is your year. This is crazy. It's 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 so humbling to be included with the gentleman that I'm included with. Uh, they've been working on their craft for as long as I've been working on my my dancing and so to be, in, be included in their category is super humbling. And we're a site for newly diagnosed people with uh, HIV. Our slogan is condoms are hot. Do you think condoms are hot? It's condoms are hot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Uh, my pleasure. Good to see you again. Likewise. I'm here with Max. I haven't seen you since Paris. How are you? No, I'm great. <laughs> I'm pretty good. You're pretty good. You got nominated for a drama desk score. Yeah, I did. Isn't that crazy? It's amazing. No, actually, it's not crazy. I've seen the show in Paris. I saw the opening. I saw the opening in New York. I saw the dress rehearsal. <laughs> oh, so you've really know, gotten to see it grow, which I've is fun. It yeah, it's it really it's changed. Isn't it, isn't it fascinating? It's I almost can't even remember what it was at different stages. But right. it's so incredible to see something grow. And like you think, like, are, are, we, are we hurting it? Are we improving it? And I think we've just kept improving I it. I think you're killing it. Yeah. I thought that, you know what? I was a little worried because I really liked it in Paris, and, I, and everyone was like, oh, it's three hours, it's three hours, that's too long. I was captivated the whole three hours. It was kind so, of mesmerizing in its own way in Paris for that audience and for that moment, um, but I think some changes needed to happen for a New York audience, a city that has 40 Broadway shows at its disposal, you know, the use of it, but Paris was magical, and I think for that moment and in for Paris, it was just what it was supposed to be. Yeah, you know what's amazing is, you have one of the most fun roles up there, yeah, and you, it's just a joy to watch you. It seems like it. you're just having a blast the whole time. I am. It's hard work, but like the kind of work where you go, oh, wait a second. This is my work, but this is what I've been dreaming of doing since I was eight years old. Like, yes, it's hard, but this is the work that I, like, there's nothing else I'd rather be doing. So to walk out there, and it is fun. Like, I think he has such a great journey. It's, it's touching. There's a point to it. He has important things to figure out in the show and beyond the show but in the course of it he's it's fun he get there's wonderful humor he has terrific songs to do the, a big song and dance number oh like, my god it's a dream okay yeah i just have to tell you when they do the radio city hall <laughs> the, the set alone is worth price of admission and yeah. you get to really do it up with the rockets and the whole thing how fun it's, is that it's pretty stunning that number yeah. um it's it's more than fun like i said it's it was the, the kind of thing i would dream about when i would see musicals when i was a kid a, a kind of like Ziegfeld follies number a big mgm you know show-stopping number and now i'm in one finally i've always wanted to be in one and i know it's coming so it's pretty thrilling like during the show i have tried not to get too excited before it because because <laughs> i should know that it's coming but i know at this point in act two the whole stage is just going to come alive in a, in a way that it hasn't before, which I think is really smart. It's this, it's this unique number in this gorgeous show that just kind of pops out and then disappears, and yeah. it's beautiful. You, know you know what's amazing is the dancing, I have to say. It's just a group yeah. of extraordinary people. A lot of people I know, uh, a lot of my yeah. friends are in that show. Yeah. Of course, Mikey Cosimano. Hi, yeah. Mikey. Hey, Mikey. Um, but... It's so great to see a big yeah. musical like this on Broadway. I mean, yeah. I think a big musical like this that is, that is really sort of even pushing the, 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 the boundaries. You know, like, yes, there are musicals, and there are so many incredible ones out there, but I've never seen anything like what I'm in, you know, this amount of ballet. And I thought, is it too much? How are people going to respond? But I think they're responding well, and I think they're appreciating. Even people who aren't accustomed to it or may not know it or appreciate it or have an understanding of it, they know that they're seeing something wonderful that's kind of asking them to, to break what they're used to. And maybe, maybe they'll go out and see a ballet next season. You know, sort of, I love that we're kind of pushing the usual Broadway boundaries a little bit. Oh, um, awesome. So listen, we're a site for newly diagnosed and people living with HIV. Mm -hmm. Do you have a message about the importance of being safe and protected out there? Well, yeah, I mean, for me, it's a must. I mean, people be, start to become a bit a bit complacent these days. They think that it's, a, you know, a, a disease, that a problem that sort of passes by, and it hasn't. There, It's still 
an issue. It's still very dangerous. And please, everyone, be safe, be smart. Thank you. And our, our slogan is condoms are hot. Do you think condoms are hot? Con <laughs> yes. Listen, congratulations and again on your, your nomination. You. 12, no, uh, 12 Tony nominations for this show. 97% sold out right now. So get your ticket when you can. So it's really amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. Awesome. So nice Take to care. talk to you. Nice. This is Mike Cavanaugh with Hero News. And I'm here with Ben Pearson, who is nominated for the Drama Desk for amazing work in projections and lighting. Congratulations on your nomination. Thank you very much. It's a great, great honor. Let me tell you, I saw. I was at the opening in Paris. Actually, I have a bunch of friends in it. It's outstanding. Your work is phenomenal. I was really impressed by how you we were able to do these projections on these moving sets and so depth of field and get them perfect how did you achieve that well it's uh, it's a first of all it's a team effort so we have a we have a lot of uh, expert technicians and, and people helping us with that with that process but it's it's basically just uh, attention to detail and practice 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 you know I've noticed that a lot more projection is being used in theater today and I think it gives a really great new way of showing theater what do you think um, I think it's when it's used the right way. I think it's a, a very effective tool. Uh, it needs to be integrated into the production in a in a thoughtful way. But um, yeah, I think it's a. a I, I, of course, I think it's a good tool. It's, right, it's my it, craft. Yeah. Although you know there is a lot of projection in American in Paris. The sets are really gorgeous, and I love the way the actual performers kind of move around the sets themselves. And it's it's kind of beautiful. They do a little pirouette and they go off. It's kind of fun, right? Mm -hmm. It is fun, and it's it's been just a great joy to work on the show. It's it's such a uh, you know our collaborators Chris Wielden and Bob Crowley and Natasha Katz. It's just been a real a joy throughout. And twelve nominations. How do you feel about that? How proud are you? It's, it's so exciting to be recognized for the the work that we you know sort of our blood, sweat, and tears are are being recognized. So it's a it's a great honor. Well, congratulations and good luck to you. Thank you very much.